Hey, this is Deb and Nate. We've been going over our short vowel sounds. Uh, the first week we went over short A, A, then we went over short O, A, and this week we're going to be practicing short I, I. Each time we visit, I try to give multi-sensory tips, and we have this Glow app on the phone for students to practice their sounds. It's just multi-sensory. So what you're gonna do is touch, draw, and touch this right here. Let's go to blue, and we're gonna start talking about short I. If you're gonna wanna have your child write pig, and you guys know that I like my vowels in red, and they can write that three times. And again, consonants in blue and vowels in red. And just to erase it, you can shake it just like that. Just be careful that you don't break it. Okay, we are going to get started with our multi-sensory. Nate, if you would, please draw your window and write this word. P-I-G. Very good, you got it. I'm gonna take it away. How many letters did you see? Three. Very good. First one? P. Second one? I. Third one? G. Good. What sound does that short I make? I. And what word was that? Pig. You got it. Good job. Let's do another one. Window, please. D. I. G. Good. How many letters? Three. First one? D. Second one? I. Third one? G. Good. What sound does that short I make? I. What word is that? Dig. Good, and if they don't say dig, say they say the long I, you can say, oh, again, what were those letters you saw in your head? Uh, what sound does that short I make? And try to pull out the answer. If they're still struggling, then you can show them the word and start over. Okay, so Nate, we have dig, D-I-G, got it? What if we were to take the D off of dig and put an F? What would that make? Fig. Good job, that does make fig. Okay, you can do that with a couple of word chains, like you could say, take the F off of fig and put a W. What word is that? What ig what word? Wig. Okay, we're gonna do another a new word chain called ending it. Make your window, please. L I. Very good. How many letters did you see? Three. First one? M. Second one? I. Third one? T. What does that say? Mitt. Good job saying mitt. Nate, do me a favor. Take that M off of mitt and put a P. Pit. Good job. We went from mitt to pit. Awesome. Okay, if we had that P on pit and we took it off and put an S, what will we have? Sit. Sit. Good job. All right, now we're gonna to go to reinforcing the skill. These are the new words. You would say the sound and say each word. Here you would circle the word that goes with each picture. So that's Bob, job, lot. And of course that's Bob, so they would circle Bob. Here's your sight words, your challenge words. And again, your stories that you're gonna read, you're gonna wanna do, I do, we do, you do, I do first. Bob has a big box. Some catnip is in the box. Canvas is on the top. The cat cannot go after the catnip. Okay, now we're gonna do it, and this is actually called oral close, and I'm gonna leave out a word, and Nate's going to fill in for me. We really want to target the skill we're going over, so I'm going to try to pick the short I words. Bob has a big box. Some catnip is in the box. Canvas is on the top. The cat cannot go after the cat. Yep. Very good. This next page. What you're gonna do is say the word, fill in the blank with the word that has the same ending sound, so lot. The water is hot. So that's what you do on this page. Next page, you're gonna draw a line under the sentence that goes with each picture. A, ro a robin sat on a box, a cat 
ran to the catnip. Well, I know that's a robin or a box, so I would underline that sentence. Okay, guys, keep practicing your sounds. Keep reading. Y'all have a good day. Talk to you. See you soon. Bye.